X times. Zero times. No, yeah. no, no, uh, you can count in your hand. Yeah. One hand. Uh, the number of times you've seen Alice in Season 9. I remember clearly at least once Super Marco played it. Three. There Three you times go. you've there seen you it this season. Exact number. So wow. or four. But the times that Donut or you know has played it. That's what I'm I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think so. Donut is a marksman specialist. He is. He is. This, this goes way deep, maybe in his amateur career, if, if, if he really had a solid Alice, though. Yeah. AP Esports fans, just chime off in the comment section in the chat if this is something that you know Donut plays. But I'm pretty sure last season when Alice was like a really big goal yeah, well, pick, when, maybe. When, yeah. when, when Alice was uh, the hotness. But right now, another look at the lineup. Still is. TNC, I love what they're bringing. Next play, Evo's though, a little a little bit everywhere, especially with that yeah. last pick, Alice. But again, is this an answer to the dive-oriented lineup that TNC has? We're about to find out. Welcome to the Land of Dawn. Welcome Game number two, TNC at match point. This is step one on their journey to securing the upper bracket or maybe even getting number one, finishing season nine, regular season at that top spot. Here we go. Yasuo on the Brody, and uh, look at this, Ben Things making sure that SD takes his or for Orange safely. Yeah. So yeah. Ben Things on the defense, just proc some of that passive, oh. make him suffer if he wants to go for the deny. All right. Was that, did, did that work the way I thought it did? Did you see that? SD user retribution and it hit the Rock Ursa. Yeah, I mean, he still got his Orange buff, but oof. There we go, Cadenza goes down. Punished by Escalera! Yeah, yeah. yeah. that was a game. lot of stuff to do for a little bit of a denier or a slowdown here, which is which goes to show, it, it's a statement to what, you know, how well TNC fought about that Cadenza pick, where they kind of expect the draw head, so they they have a few heroes on the mid that can make him suffer if he tries to go for some pick. Oh, flicker in by Cadenza. Yasuo answers back. Not enough firepower on that Alice this early on. Yeah. yeah. I think it would have worked better if, like, you know, you had a marksman that had more basic attacks, but at least NXP were able to force out the flicker. Next key rotation for NXP might be for the top lane. I think they're going to put a lot of focus here onto Yasuo. But now TNC, they have their eyes set on pressuring Donut yet again. So both teams right now are just respecting the fact that you can't allow the gold laners to freely farm. Because to answer your question, Leo, yeah, uh, the Alice as an answer to the dive comp of TNC. Alice getting picked up by NXP makes them a dive comp as well. They're not going to be backline dependent. They're going to be the ones who can be aggressive. Mm -hmm. And because of all the sustain that you have, the healing from the shield provided by the Matilda, the healing, natural healing of the Yuzhong and the Alice, the lifesteal, that's a very strong, slow front-to-back play style as well. So if you're not going to be the type to dive it, turtle. you're going to be the type to fight the team fight slowly. But since you have a lot of lifesteal and damage, you can actually you know, take it to TNC and on paper, theoretically, the NXP lineup makes a lot of sense. And if they do fall behind, like they have some pretty good wave clear at least in the early game, or, or sorry, in the late game. Yeah. So that's a big change from what we saw last game where they didn't really have like a contingency plan. Mm -hmm. Like to go su for super clear. So Wait. that's a good change at least for NXP. To be fair, uh, gotta give credit where credit is due. Next play Evos, did you see that Donut scored the Clock of Destiny in under three minutes? No. Despite the rotations over there, so kid can farm. Yeah, yeah that's good fast. stuff here. And again, they can kind of, that speeds up the timeline here for the Alice to actually get into gear. This is exciting stuff. Uh, to be there, I, we, we all scratched their heads when uh, the Alice was picked up. But if it's farming this fast, that's going to put TNC uh, on a different clock. Hmm. Clock, though, is definitely taking still for NXPE. Mm -hmm. Got Ben Things as well in SD getting SD. ready to fight. They are levels ahead. They try to go for that, but they spot out Cadenza. Sides against it. Yeah, playing it slow, both teams trying to find an opening right now. MP getting pressured. He'll be sent back. He'll be forced to go home. And that is a... Tempest of Blades. Tempest <laughs> of Blades on the Valentina. Last time I saw that, I think it was Flap who did it uh, for Bren. But yeah, you get the escape. It's a good mobility for a Valentina as well. Sagitnu here forced to use the Black Dragon form to retreat. SD can smell his man. Goes for the jump. Ooh. Punished underneath tier two. Sandwiched by Cadenza and El Piso. That's a kill for Nestle Evos. 
Yeah, once again, NXP do have that skirmishy composition again. Pretty similar to what they did last game. And it's working out a little bit better here. Just because of, you know, good decision making by Cadenza specifically. This is something that Cadenza clearly has uh, over his counterpart in Rene J. Uh, very good at uh, spotting out most plays this early on. More for baits, uh, I think. Because look at this. Look at that. Forces SD. Go oh. for that really awkward Tempest of Blades. Much as I love the Hitman, that's definitely a Cadenza way of playing. Absolutely. Yeah. Wait, who took the turtle? Where'd it go? First turtle went to the side to of TNC. TNC. Yeah, and the second the TNC still. Yep, second wow. TNC still. They have the shields around them right now. All right. Now, NXP just, again, doing everything they can to hold on to the side lanes because they're pressuring down bot here. Let's see who'll get the first tower of the game. Donut NLP, so... Oh, guiding winds to help lock in the Ode. But again, TNC much faster on the trigger. Down bottom. There's a kill up top, but it's traded for down bottom. Wow, one for one! Yeah, Delayed damage, where'd that come from? That was, I think that was Shaw Essence, wasn't it? Yeah. From his corpse? Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Seems to be. All right. So, interesting stuff. Go Donut. Donut. Donut, Donut, Donut goes down. Venting charging up the Numenon Blast just for good measure. May have overestimated the amount of sustain an Alice has at about five minutes. Yeah, that's one of the reasons why we are seeing less and less of the Alice when it used to be so prevalent. It just gets scaled out. Oh, Cadenza with the concealed play. El Piso. Mere steps away, calls it off. Not enough firepower here just yet because MP the King needed to recall, needed to go home. What are you going to see? Whoa. Ben things here in the Y bush. Bottom lane pushed by Yasuo. Oh my goodness, I'm not sure if you guys saw that, but that was like three hits from the Brody. Mm. It's like big chunks. What's he of got on three. him? Blade of Despair? Blade Probably, Despair. yeah. Either Blade of Despair and maybe he also rushed the Malefic R at this point. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't have the effect anymore in the turret damage, but that's still great raw physical damage. Nope, yeah, just the blade it's of the spear. And the sword. So and the maybe sword. that's why the damage output is pretty good. Yeah. <sighs> still on the way to the Malefic Roar. By the way, Cram's first item was actually a Molten Essence. And then he picked up the Blue Dominant Ice. The Interesting choice there. Very tanky built toms that we're seeing under the hands of Cram. You think that's a third uncontested turtle here? Going over the TNC. Signaling that we could see them kind of skyrocket here with a lead. Yeah, Donut, though, gonna have to answer back on uh, an equally sustainable hero in Cram's Thams. Uh, recalling here the Alice. Let's look at the items. Huh, Calamity Reaper. Ooh. All right, just, all right. Yeah, I mean, that was the. That was always been like the favorite uh, second item pickup for Alice for the pros. The huge. The oh, huge. wait. Uh oh. He might have thought breaking out. Donut gets caught out by a Tempest of Blast. Oh, sorry. By the Numenon Blast. And then gets hit by a Torn of Mark Memory. That happened so fast. I, I yeah, lost I my words. I don't think they even needed that uh, Torn of Mark Memory. He was just. Donut was, was just evaporating. He was going to go down anyway. He really was. So. Yeah. Overall, uh, again, SD is a little bit more sustainable now on the Karina. Like even the trio can't really do anything about it. Yeah, uh, barely needed the dance of blades there for him to survive. The immunity was enough. Now, mind you, that was three members of Nightly Eagles. Yeah, and this is gonna be bad news for NXBE because that's already a genius one on the hand of Escalera and a malefic roar in the hands of Yasuo. How well have you been able to build your defensive items and XP? Oh, That's the biggest oh. pressure for them. Cadenza commits a flicker, only to be answered back by a Tempest of Blades and a Numenon Blast. What an expensive disengage from TNC, but it's going to be well worth it. They go ahead and threaten the Orange Steel. Here comes SD. Retribution away. MP the King can only watch as his buff goes bye bye. Again, Donut not really ready to fight yet. Same with MP the King. They are trying to stave off the attack as much as they can. You can see the levels are just not optimal right now. TNC is ahead at every lane. Oh my goodness. TNC. They can keep this lead up. They just can't commit a big mistake. Bad things with a Numenon Blast from behind the purple buff wall. 
MP the King struggling. He's starving. He needs this purple buff. Will he be able to take it? Answer is yes. Didn't even need to use the retribution. So a little bit of breathing room for next play Evos. But all the time, of course, TNT's always up to something. They take this level one Lord. At nine minutes, it looks really, really good for TNC. Now, no NXPE, the their win conditions are starting to really uh, getting get a little bit harder to see here. Like specifically for scaling, MP the King and Donut. But so far, Sagito, LPZ, and Cadenza, they're just trying to hold off the inevitable here. Yeah, uh, again, because of the key item pickups on the Valentine and the Brody, the Genius One and the Malefica, our TNC are definitely in their power spike. So you see NXPE desperately trying to build those defensive items. Alpiza already has the Oracle. We saw earlier Sagitnu had to build the Radiant Armor as well to reduce the magic damage coming in. But then what have you built against the Brody? This is just like the perfect storm right now for TNC. The stars have aligned for the Phoenixes that NXPE they really just have to play this defensively. It's going to be hard for them to find that big turnaround. It's going to be a long hold and a long defense potential for NXP to turn it around. Again, for TNC, all they need to do is just TNC things. Play this methodically, be calculated, go for the juggler, just like what you did in game number one. Yeah. Bottom line, the biz. Just do the biz. Do the biz. biz. And I think that is all it's going to need here, because I don't think NXP has the items to actually contest. Oh, wow. Where'd that come from? Off camera, a kill by MP the King onto Escalera. Wow. And they saved their top lane inhibitor. Mid does get their shield pop, but a win is a win. They, they, they lose on the purple, but still, shutdown kill onto Escalera. I hope we see a replay of that because I did what? not. I think no one expected that even. No. Especially Escalera. Who the thunk? Cram here gets hit with the circling eagle. Kaka! And the ejector goes for the vengeance, goes for the Cotter Inferno. Wow. He's surviving what? and he's what? winning. What the against hell? Four members of Next Play Evos. Cram! Cram! What the heck, man? <laughs> oh my goodness, we just saw Cram God form right now! I was like, what? what? Goodness. Okay, what? We, we really need a replay of that, let's go. So he's, there it is. He's holding on for dear life. And then just everything, all of it. Oh man. The lifesteal, look at the Hurt tick of the lifesteal, dude. Hurt me more. <laughs> I want it. Oh my gosh, look at this guy. Even Donut has to think like, yo, this is not a good idea. And then SD comes up like, mm. oh, what? Cramps that dude in the group that goes, step on me, please. And he likes it and he yeah. thrives off of it. What group? What? <laughs> the, the friend group. The, sure. The, the, the friends. 30 yeah. seconds away from a luminous lord. TNC yeah. ahead by 6K. I mean, and next play he was working to shrink that lead, but... I don't know. I don't know, man. TNT's got a demigod on their side. I don't think they're gonna, <laughs> they're gonna uh, be in any dry in the driver's seat anytime soon. Oh man, <laughs> they have a deity. <laughs> Absolutely, a sustained deity. You know, in the Philippines, we have like two or three well-known crams. This is cram god that we're seeing right now. No, no. At this point, at this moment, he's the only cram that matters. Yeah, really is. Cram, Cram Prime. Su Cram Supreme. <laughs> Cram Supreme. You do that against Next Play Evos? You do that against four members? And uh, you do it against two of their cores? If NXP were able to take out uh, Cram in that situation, we could have we definitely could have said that they found the recipe to come back into this with pickoffs. Because they were able to surprisingly pick off Escalera. They, it almost looked like they surprisingly picked off Cram, but they didn't. And no. I felt like that was a heat check moment yeah. for TNC. He's like, oh, NXP, you think you're finding your groove? Nah. Not against this town, yeah. not against us. They're looking for a comeback. They got a cram back. Yeah, cram. <laughs> uh, 8 out of 10. Go cram eight back. Lovely, out of 10. Go lovely. Cram back. <laughs> lovely. All right, so Luminous Lord goes over. The TNC, not a second wasted at the 13 minute mark. It's going no to be marching through destroyed. top lane. But there is a sneaky push, cheeky, by MP the King. Yeah, and that's exactly what they need here. Again, you cannot beat out TNC in a straight up fight. You take it to the streets, you take it to the sides, and you use the mobility of a Ling. Again, albeit a little bit nerfed, a little bit slowed down, but it still works in these scenarios. Oh my goodness, this is a Luminous Lord. Let's see if NXPE can find the recipe to stop this and hold on yet again. Not impossible for NXPE to turn this around, but very difficult at this point. Lord crashing into that top lane inhibitor. It goes down. SDZYZ wailing away at this mid lane inhibitor. Donut and the gang just 
Miserably defending. Oh, Matagidno goes for the black dragon form. Yeah, it's her back by Escalera. Look at Epi the King coming from an angle. Down goes Sagitno. The dragon is oh, the chase. squished. And there's a punish on the Yasuo. Down goes Epi the King as well. Bending! Oh, oh my god! Blast from the shadows! Condensa is popped. It's just El Piso and Donut left standing. Bottom lane inhibitor goes as well. Next the Evos left in shambles. One for three trade. And they're T still going. TNC really won it. They're they still going. Cram and Bentings wailing away at this base. Two sustained heroes plus SD as oh, well. The base El Piso goes down. Cram as well, but it's too little too oh. late. <laughs> TNC sweep. Next play Evos. Did you see that? It was Ben Fink who <laughs> got the, the hammer. Got the last hit. I mean, Blacklist, they are the they are the Ube team, but NXP just had a taste of the ultimate Ben Fink's experience. Uh -huh. The ultimate Ben Fink. That last Numenon blast really like <laughs> Oh my gosh. It was picture perfect. Again. Oh. Y'all heard of <laughs> the Blacklist Ube, but now he's a TNC Ube. Y'all yep. heard about the Omega Kings of C, the Comeback Kings. <laughs> yeah, the Crownback King. The, the Crownback King. King. Dude, I don't know, man. You're looking for MVP. Maybe, maybe not Yasuo.